Um, Secretary McDonald, uh, as you know and you said in your opening statement, the population of women veterans is c increasing dramatically, has doubled since 2001. I was really pleased to work with Senator Heller to introduce the Women Veterans Access to Quality Care Act to make sure that the VA does have the services and facilities to meet the needs of women veterans. One of the key provisions of that bill is requiring obstetrics and gynecology to be available at every medical center. I want to ask you what resources and staff, including support staff, will you need to meet that kind of requirement? Thank you, Senator Murray. We're, we're very much in favor of that, um, of that approach. Uh, we're in the process of putting women's clinics uh, all over the country. We have a new one here in Washington, D.C., and I'd like to invite the members of the committee to visit it. Um, it's in our Washington, D.C. facility. It's a women's clinic. Uh, as you know, I've been out to about 12 medical schools, talked to deans. I'm, we're hiring, and uh, we need to hire more uh, gynecologists. Do you, do you know how many you would actually The exact need number? Do I don't have an exact number. I can tell you that in the past, uh, the past nine months or so, we've hired about 8,000 people. Of that, about 1,000 are doctors, but I don't have how many of that our uh, gynecologists, okay, you, we can get to you, you with that number. If you can get that back to me, and I also wanted to just bring up that the VA policies up to date, uh, it's, it is way past time to bring the VA policies up to date with modern medicine and allow the VA to provide better fertility treatment, including in vitro fertilization for seriously injured veterans who want to start a family. This is a high priority for me. Uh, I think it's a high priority for our veterans and want to work with you to get that done as well. So I'll be talking to you more about that. Working Sorry, on that. Okay, I want to uh, hear from you. What are you doing to work on this? So my staff briefed me uh, recently in terms of how many women might be eligible and uh, what would be the uh, specific well, women technical requirements, yes. And uh, also compared what the Department of Defense covers versus what right. we cover or actually don't at the moment. So um, I sent them back with some more questions, but uh, would be happy to follow up with you. Okay, and I'll submit some questions on this, but I think this is absolutely critical for our men and women who serve overseas, lose their capability, uh, and we have to make sure they can start a family. So I will be focused on this. Um, I also wanted to talk to you about the legislation that I introduced last year to expand the caregiver support services to VA, um, to all eras of veterans. Um, I'm gonna be introducing that again this year and I wanna be sure we're all working together to strengthen that program. Uh, so it'll be ready to take on the additional workload. Uh, VA's budget request says that in fiscal year 2015, you cannot hire any new caregiver support coordinators to help with the overwhelming demand. Um, and I hear already at some facilities that providers refuse to help with doing initial evaluations or home visits that, and to me that is just unacceptable. I wanted to ask you what you're doing to bring in more uh, caregiver support for coordinators. Let me start and then I'll ask Carolyn to comment. We're very much in favor of improving our care, caregiver operation. Uh, in fact, uh, in the last week I met with um, Senator Dole of the, of the Elizabeth yep. Dole Foundation. And we're working very closely. Uh, we're working closely with her. Uh, what we've agreed to do is I want to set up a special advisory committee for the Secretary for Caregivers. We don't have that. And I think we would benefit greatly from having that. Number two, working with her, in, incidentally, working with her com, uh, foundation. Secondly is um, we're talking about having a caregiver summit, uh, something where we could get everybody together and we're working together For with all her. errors or just our all, all, all errors, errors, all errors, because because again, post 9-11 is not enough. Yeah. Uh, so we want to work together with you on this. Okay, well, I want to stay in touch with you on that and keep me up to date on what they are doing. 